Hello and welcome to SourceCAD. Autodesk has released the new version of AutoCAD, AutoCAD 2022. And just like every year, we have new features and enhancements in this version too. So in this video, I'll explore six major improvements and new features of AutoCAD 2022. So let's get started. So right out of the box, the first thing that you will notice once you start AutoCAD is the start screen, which is now much more clean and modern. So on the left side, we have options for opening the new files, or you can click this arrow and open new sheet set or explore some sample drawings. Similarly, you can open your drawing with the default template using this new button, or you can click this arrow and open your drawing with any of the default templates and you can even get your templates online or you can create a sheet set then we have the recent file list right here so this list is dynamic when you open a new drawing file it will be added to this list you can change the view of this list from here from list view to the thumbnail view these files are available locally and this file is available on cloud so you can see the location as well of these files simply here and you can click this push pin to keep these files permanently here so once you click the push pin the files will remain here it will become sticky and the next new files will be added after that sticky file so that's the push pin you can click on it again to just remove the push pin now all your Autodesk docs will be available here. So these are online docs and learning material is right here. So new videos, learning resources are available here. So you can just click here and explore all the learning resources. Now there are several new links added here for quick access. So some of these links are very useful like the community forum. So if you have anything that you want to ask in forum that's here, you can just click this link and go to the forum or you can explore the new features here using what's new and you can even reach customer support here. Now announcements and notification related to your software will show up here. So you can just click this and see the announcements and notifications related to your software and your account. You need to log in to see these announcements specifically related to your account. Now, that's the start screen. Now let's open our drawing with the default template. So I'll click on new and the drawing will start with the default template. Now, the next feature which I'll discuss here is the share link feature. So for that, I'll start with this plan view drawing. And now you can share your drawing files using AutoCAD web and mobile app. So in this case, I've got this drawing and just to share this file, all you need to do is click the share button on the quick access toolbar. Now this will give you two options. You can either select view only or view and edit as well. So if you select this option, the file will remain a read only file and anyone can only read the files. You just cannot save the file or make modifications. However, when you select the second option, you can not only make modifications, but you can save its copy as well. In this case, I'll select edit and save copy and I'll select copy link. Now the link is copied on the clipboard and now we can open it in the browser. Now this link will expire in seven days and there is a limitation on the file size as well. So currently the file size limit is 50 MB per file. So if you are sharing file containing multiple XREFs, then make sure that host file as well as all the referenced files are 50 megabytes or smaller in size. And the overall file size should not exceed 200 megabytes as well. So that's the current file limit. All right. So now let's just open it in a web browser. So here we are. Now the file is uploading on AutoCAD web app. And once uploaded, this is what you're going to see. So you can not only make modifications, like you can just add all these things here, add annotations and dimensions and other things here, but you can also save its copy. So you can just save its copy using the save as button. You can also click on open in desktop to just open its copy in the desktop. So that's the share link option. Now the next feature, which is completely new is the traces. Now this traces feature is only available in the web and mobile version of AutoCAD. And I am just going to use the same file, this one for the traces feature. So I'll delete this one. And you can see the traces feature right here. 
So I'm using web app. So obviously it's available here. You can also see the traces feature in the mobile app of AutoCAD. So traces is a great new feature for adding markups in your drawing. So if you want to add markups, edits, and changes that you want to make in your drawing, then you can associate it with the traces. And once you associate any drawing with a trace it's not only associated with the drawing but also with the account which is adding the trace so here if I log in with my account and then add some traces it will be associated with my account and only I can later modify those traces on a single drawing several people can add their own traces and only they can modify the traces these traces are in read only mode in the desktop version so once you add the traces you cannot modify it in the desktop version you can only see those traces now let's just add some traces to make this thing clear so I'll go to this traces tab and select new trace now this will kind of add a tracing paper right above this drawing and you can now start adding traces so it is directly associating that trace with my account and now let's start with this revision cloud and I'll just add maybe a revision cloud right here and here's the thing you can associate this trace with a new layer as well in this case I'll just skip that part but if you want to associate this with a new layer you can go to layer and create a new layer first for example here I'll just add it with traces and uh, maybe let's just change the color here we can see that red color is uh, not available so maybe I'll use that red color and now we can just associate these objects with that new layer so I'll just go to traces and let's now go to this okay let's add the revision cloud now so here here is the first revision cloud now that's associated with the traces layer if you want to add maybe some sort of text annotations you can just do it here so uh, sample text and uh, maybe let's just add bigger font size and there we are so we've got these traces now once you are done you can click OK and the traces are now added and this trace is also saved here now you can open this file in a desktop so let's do that open in desktop and now I'm just going to save it here in this uh, main folder so I've got this plan view and dash trace one so that's the name of my file and I'll click on save and here when this pop-up shows up just click open AutoCAD and here we are the file is now open in this desktop version now if you want to see the trace which is created in this file then go to collaborate tab and select traces palette now this will open this traces palette which will list all the traces along with the name of person who added that trace now if you want to see this trace here it just opened up a duplicate copy so I'll just close that one so here if you want to see what's inside this trace then select it and that's gonna show you the trace kind of like this so these are the traces that we added and as you can see these are not editable you can obviously select it but there is nothing other than that which you can do here with this trace you can also toggle between the trace views for example you can make this trace in the foreground right now it is in the foreground or you can send it in the background simply by clicking here so now the the drawing is in the foreground and the trace has been sent to the background so that's the toggle once you're done with the trace you can click OK and there we are we have got this normal drawing we no longer have this trace visible so that's the trace option you can also right click on this trace and select rename so that's gonna rename this trace or you can even delete these uh, traces so once you delete this nothing will show up here but there is no option of adding traces in your drawing from this palette you can only do that from web and mobile app now let's just close this and the next great feature is count so now you can see object counts and several other information related to it and this has kind of a dynamic nature as well this is not a static count feature now let me just go to the start tab and let's open a new drawing here I'll start with this flow plan sample and that's a sample read-only file from Autodesk which I'm gonna be using just for this one okay now here 
the count feature is in the view tab so just go to view and right here you can see the count option so in this case I'll just click on this count option and this will show us list of all the blocks available in this drawing along with its quantity so every single block along with its number is available here so we have got chair which is 66 computer 54 and so on now if you modify this then these numbers will automatically modify for example in this case I'll just zoom into this area and this is the computer block I'll select this and I'll just make a new copy of this so as you can see we have 54 computers now I'm gonna just make two more copies and now we have 56 computers so this is a dynamic list which just updates automatically without any user input now we have these exclamation signs as well right next to some of these blocks and that's because it has some information attached to it so click on this exclamation sign and here you can see the problem with the block so the block will first highlight and as you can see the block is highlighted right here and the problem is overlapping objects so we have got two overlapping objects right here so I'll maybe just select this one and I'll move it out and now you can see well we no longer have overlapping objects so let's go back to list and we no longer have that exclamation sign because we just removed the overlapping objects also we have another exclamation sign here so just let's click here and here you can see that we have exploded blocks so just click on it and it will take you to the location of that block and it looks like this is part of the block which has been exploded so that's the second error here and you can ignore this one because it's no longer a block it's no longer part of a block it's just a simple drawing object now you can also see more information related to these blocks simply by selecting it for example if I select door you will see its total count here and also you can see more information related to this which in this case is just its count so you can just click here and see more information related to this and you can also insert its field count now this is a dynamic info so if you click here it will add this field right where you want so in this case I'll just maybe add this field right here and that's just four now let's add more text here so uh, I'll just add number of doors and that's just four so maybe I'll just expand this one a little bit here and let's just move it here okay so that's a dynamic text now if we change number of doors then this value will change automatically so in this case I've got this door block here and let's now change the quantity of these blocks so these are the four door blocks I'll just select copy and maybe let's just copy this and I'll just make two more copies of this now as you can see we have six door blocks now let's go back to the text that we added here and it's still four because we just need to regenerate this so I'll type R E enter and there we are so number of doors six so it will just automatically update kind of like this so that's the dynamic information now not only that you can even add complete table of blocks so to do that you can just click here and select the blocks that you want to include in your table so, so I want to include chair computer uh, desk and uh, maybe phone and keyboard and that's it so these are all the things that I want to include and maybe let's include this door as well and once you are done selecting your blocks that you want to insert here in your drawing then click insert and the table will be added just like this so once again this table is dynamic in nature and all these texts will automatically update when you change number of blocks so for example in this case as you know we just added these two doors and that just made it six number of door is six let's remove it so I'll just remove these two doors so this one and this one we once again have now four doors here so this should change to four once we refresh regenerate our drawing so type RE enter and we are back to four so that's a dynamic table that you can now add very simply using this count feature so once you are done counting this click OK and there we are we are back to our drawing where we have the table and all the other information as it is okay now the next feature which we'll discuss is floating drawing windows now floating drawing window is a common thing in several new softwares and Autodesk has also implemented it now and mostly we use floating drawing windows on dual monitors so if you also happen to have dual monitors and you just want to see several drawings then you can 
remove these tabs just like this so select any of these tabs and move it out and now it's a floating window you can just resize this floating window and you can also move it on your second monitor so in this case it's kind of very easy now working with several drawings so if you just want to use one of the drawings as reference and maybe work on the second one even layout if you want to use it as reference you can just undock it and you can use it as a floating tab if you want to dock it back again just select this floating window and move it once again here on the file tab and it will dock it again so that's the floating window now the next feature is publish to Autodesk Docs and you can now publish your layouts as a PDF on Autodesk Docs and you can share it as well. So in this case I'll just use this plan view and I'll select collaborate and right here we have publish to Autodesk Docs. So if you want to just share its layouts then select publish to Autodesk Docs. It will show you the list of layouts here and you can then upload these sheets. Now if you want to add external layouts here which are not part of this drawing then you can select this plus option and using this you can add sheets you can also remove sheets using this minus option and you can even upload a complete sheet list. Now if you want to save these sheet lists as a JSON file then you can select the save sheet list and it will save it as a JSON file which you can later use again. So in this case I just want to upload this single layout here so that layout is selected and now you can select this upload sheets and it will upload it on AutoCAD web from where you can share its PDF version. So again this is a great feature if you just want to share the PDFs of your drawing layout. And finally the performance improvements so just like every year once again we have performance improvement in AutoCAD as well and the installation process is now much more streamlined so installation is very clean and less input is now required from users and for the installation it's also very quick and the same thing is true for AutoCAD Mac as well so when it comes to performance Autodesk has always improved the software every year and this year is no exception now AutoCAD is available for Mac as well as Windows users so AutoCAD 2022 if you have not yet subscribed then you can subscribe and just get this latest version of AutoCAD and it comes with all its standard tool sets with the subscription so that was all about the new features of AutoCAD 2022 software if you want to learn more about AutoCAD in a step-by-step -step method, then head over to SourceCAD for a complete list of courses and tutorials. The link is in the description. And for questions, just let me know in the comment area. So I'll see you soon in another video. Take care.